My friend, always great seeing you. SoCan Awards, honors happening for you guys, huh? Yeah, it's uh, 30th anniversary of SoCan, 30th anniversary of BNL. Uh, just here, impacting culture, Rudy. You know me. Well, when you, I mean, when you think about the band, what you just said, you couldn't have thought the days when you guys were over that much music booth to introduce you guys to the world. Hi, we're the Bare Naked Ladies, and then you perform a song that you would become an institution for this country. I gave us 30 months max, and here we are, 30 years later. Pretty amazing. It is, but you know what? The story of the Bare Naked Ladies doesn't end. 2019, you guys got a lot of things going. On. Yeah, uh, we got a new record in the works, and we've got a almost 50 date tour with Hootie and the Blowfish in America this summer. One date in Toronto, uh, but that's going to be a great summer. A couple nights at Madison Square Garden already sold out, so we're looking forward to it. Okay, did you just hear what you just said? The biggest look. I, I love what we have here, but Madison Square Garden is the venue. And what did you just say about that? Two nights sold out, man. Uh, that's one of the venues you remember. BNL sold it out in 2000 or thereabouts, and it's like a snapshot from that moment in time when Stunt was huge and One Week was number one. There's a lot of things I don't remember about that time, but I remember Madison Square Garden, and I, I don't know if I thought we'd play it again, and we're doing it twice this summer. Before you go, though, i got to ask you, though, SoCan, what has SoCan done for you guys over the years? Well, uh, we've been with SoCan since the very beginning. I remember dropping off my, uh, you know, my, my post-dated registered mail envelopes with my songs on cassettes. Uh, that was like, that was how you protected your copyright back in the day, you know, and, and bringing them into SoCan. Sorry, I remember that. Yeah, that was how you did it. It's crazy, man. Well, look, I'm going to let you go. Have fun tonight. And you know what? Like I keep saying over and over again, man, thank you so much for the interviews over the years. Thank you for the great music. Man, just thank you for representing. Thank you, Rudy. Always good to see you, man. Cheers. You here at the SoCan Awards? How does it feel being part of this tonight? Well, as a drummer, I'm really honored to be at the Songwriting Awards. I just got to say, um, Very lyrical I don't, player. You know what? Every party needs a drummer, that's right. right? So that's why I'm here. Yeah, that's it. Well, what has SoCan done for you guys over the years? Listen, they, they've always supported us all the way through, like, like even informing us of how it works. That's one of the things that they've collected a lot of royalties for us. Money, Thank you, SoCan, money. because you know we wouldn't be any good at that. Well, no. look, I'd be not good if I didn't let you guys go because you got more interviews. You got to get in there. Have a great time. Hopefully, I'm gonna see you guys in the summertime, right? Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna come to the uh, group therapy tour with Hootie and the Blowfish. I will be there for that. Okay, excellent. Thank All you, right, Rudy. Have a good time. <laughs>